Don't judge me. It's been a long quarantine. And it's recycling day. This There's a lot of bottles around here. I, I'll, I'll finish this later. Let's do this. Kevin, and since I did a deep dive on the Lafroy Distillery last episode, which I'll link to in the comments below, I'm going to give you a bonus whiskey today. We'll do two Lafroy expressions, the PX Cask and the Triple Wood. Let's dig into it. Now, both these whiskeys are very similar. Uh, they both are bottled at 48% uh, alcohol by volume or 96 proof. They both are uh, finished in ex-bourbon casks, which is a requirement for scotch anyway. And then they have a second casking in quarter casks, which are smaller quarter size casks that give them a lot more contact with the wood. They end up being um, affected by that, uh, by that wood interaction a lot more than if you had a, a full size cask. So essentially that's the Lefroy quarter cask expression that they both started out as. That was their initial life. And then they had a third casking in European oak casks. The difference comes in uh, with those European oak casks is what they were used for before Lefroy used them for their final finish of these whiskeys. Uh, they both are sherry casks, but the Triple Wood is Oloroso Sherry, and the PX Cask is Pedro Jimenez Sherry. So they have enough difference in their flavor that it's worth exploring both of them. And since they're so similar, I think it's a really great time to do a little bit of A-B testing of these two expressions. Now, another difference you'll notice is that these bottles are difference. Ooh. <laughs> difference. Ooh. <laughs> Another difference you'll notice, besides the fact that I just made a very loud noise and I probably whacked out the mic. Another difference is these bottles are very different size. Now, this is not a miniature bottle. It is a standard 750 milliliter bottle. But the PX cask is a one liter bottle, which you don't often see. Um, the reason that is a different size bottle is because it's a uh, it's a travel edition. I found this PX cask when we were uh, Judy and I were flying back from uh, Sydney. We had a little time at the airport, and being the wonderful wife that she is, she said you should go in the duty free shop and check out what whiskeys they have. Now, often a um, travel exclusive whiskey isn't going to be the best whiskey. A lot of times. Uh, uh, a distiller will say, uh, we need something to put in the duty-free shops that maybe isn't uh, going to sell on the open market in high volume, but might be something that people travel that want to get a, a tax-free purchase would try. So that's what they do with whiskeys like this. In fact, both of these, the Triple Wood and the PX Cask, started out as travel exclusives. Uh, now the Triple Wood is more available. I can actually buy that directly. I still can't get the PX cask um, anywhere that I looked. Um, the surprise was that when I grabbed this uh, whiskey, I looked at it first and said, hmm, uh, I never heard of PX cask. I hate buying a whiskey that I know nothing about and I really hadn't done any research. I tried to do a quick little look up on my phone, but I didn't read too much about it. Uh, and it was $125. And I said, wow, I don't know. Do I want to risk $125 on a, on a whiskey that I've never had before? And then I noticed it was a one liter bottle. I went, okay, 
one liter bottle, $125. That's, that's a little bit better. And, and then I looked at it again and went, hmm, wait a minute, this is Australian dollars. So little math, okay, that's about $87 uh, US. Okay, now we've got a one liter bottle of Laphroaig that's got a, uh, a lovely sherry finish and it's uh, $87. Okay, that, that's not a bad deal. And then looking at it again, I went, wait a minute, that's $65 if this was a regular size bottle. So really I'm paying for a $65 bottle of Laphroaig and just getting a third more. Okay, great, let's, let's give this a try. Uh, and it was tax-free, so wins all around. Um, and I'm really glad I did it. Well, you can see, I obviously enjoyed it. In fact, when I first got this, I was, I was really enamored with it because there's something about taking Laphroaig and having that uh, PD Isla flavors and, and smells and then drenching that in sherry. Um, I don't know, it, it really was a great experience and I, I was so glad I picked it up and I would have been really mad if my first thought was $125, I'm not buying that. Uh, so sometimes you do find really good buys in the duty-free shops, but you have to be careful because a lot of the whiskeys that are sold there might be 40% um, alcohol by volume. They might be um, kind of a, a bland expression of the whiskey. I saw a lot of them there that after I got home and did some research, I went, oh, geez, I, I don't know. That's, that's got nothing special about it. So do your research, uh, look carefully, but if you do happen to be flying, and you see the PX cask, I definitely would uh, suggest picking that up. And I'd love to hear uh, if you have traveled and you found uh, certain whiskeys that were only available in the duty-free shops, let me know who those are, put them in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for, well, I guess the next time we're allowed in airports to go hunting down whiskeys that you recommend. Um, I don't know when that's gonna be, but hopefully it's not too much longer. Another thing I like about these whiskeys from Laphroaig is uh, that the Triple Wood says right on the back that, uh, that this is non-chill filtered and they say cloudiness when mixed with water is normal for a non-chilled filter whiskey like Triple Wood. Um, savor it as the mist that rolls in across the bay outside our distillery. So they've done a really good job of saying, look, we didn't chill filter this. It may get a little cloudy when you add water to it, and that's fine. And I totally agree. I would much prefer to have a whiskey that isn't chill filtered because chill filtering is basically the process of cooling the whiskey, running it through filters, trapping all the things that may make it look a little cloudy if it's a low alcohol level or if it's getting uh, chilled by water or ice. And uh, that also removes a little bit of the nuance, a little bit of the flavor. And I mean, I'll buy whiskeys that are chill filtered because they're good whiskeys. But if I have a choice, if there's a whiskey that's not chill filtered, I definitely will jump after that. And I, and I appreciate that they not only pointed it out, but pointed out that this is what's gonna happen. And that's the only thing. It's not gonna affect your flavor. It's just an aesthetic thing, um, but really good whiskeys and good whiskeys to start tasting and seeing what we can find in these. Now I'll go ahead and start with the triple wood. This is the Oloroso sherry. So you're going to get sherry on both of these. And right off the bat, this, uh, this nose is very sweet. Some vanilla. I get um, a lot of the Isla whiskeys will give you that uh, the brine scent. Uh, this is more of a, it's, it's like if you have um, that smell of uh, a rocky beach where there's uh, seashells around and it's cooler there. So you're not, you're not getting so much of the salty brine, but it really takes me back to, uh, to being on the uh, beach at Isla. If I get down, get down in there deeply, I'll get a little bit of that iodine, but it's not like a Laphroaig 10 where you're, where you're hitting the face with the medicinal flavors. 
Look at this sherry uh, tapers that off. Wow, a lot of sherry on the taste. The sweetness, a little bit of that, um, some dark fruits, um, some nice vanilla, maybe it's a bit of raisin flavor. The spice is more of a black spice, a black pepper spice. Um, finish is very long. You can tell that this is a uh, this is an oily whiskey. It gives you that lingering taste. Definitely get the the sherry on the finish. The sweetness for that is really nice. And you can tell there's uh, there's enough wood spice in here. I think the quarter cask was going to give you a lot more of the uh, the wood notes that you could, would get from a normal full size cask. Let's see if we can tell the difference between that and the px cask which is pedro jimenez sherry also sweet on the nose very similar i don't get the i don't get the iodine right up front on this one this one uh the triple wood is sweeter px cask has more of a vanilla or sweetness to it, uh, but not the uh, not the fruity sweetness that the triple wood has. Similar sherry taste up front. Um, a lot more of the of the dark fruits in this one. Yeah, when I first tasted these, I really thought there was a big difference that the uh, that the PX cast was a lot more sherried. A lot more spice on the triple wood. I think that's the big difference that I'm getting from the two of them. This is going to give you a lot more wood spice. I think the sherry isn't covering up the wood spices as much. I think you're getting uh, the quarter cask notes. If you try, if you ever tried a Lafroy quarter cask, this is going to be closer to it. It's going to give you that quarter cask taste and a little hint of sherry on the end or in the, in the taste profile overall. And the PX cask has a lot more sherry notes to it, which is giving it the, the darker fruit flavors and the smells. Definitely getting more sherry taste on the PX. And that's what I experienced when I first tasted it. And um, it's, it's definitely covered up more of the wood spices there are more pepper spices in here than, than the wood spices. And I really like the, um, the way the sherry isn't uh, overwhelming that wood. Let me put some water in both these and see what we get. They're both at 48%, so the water is not going to hit them too hard. In fact, I'm going to put a double dose in each one since we have pretty healthy pour here. I have no idea why I poured this much. I was uh, just doing my normal slow-mo pour videos and I got a little uh, little anxious and just over poured. So poor me, I'm going to have to finish just a little more whiskey than I normally do after one of these. It's a tough job. Doing it for you though. You know that. Okay, water on this one. Tame down the nose. Ooh, the triple wood um, gets a lot sweeter. I still get the wood spice, but I got um, but more berries, uh, more vanilla on the triple wood. Let's see what the water did to the, uh, the PX cask. Mm. Again, sweeter. A lot more vanilla. Maybe a little apple smell now. Hmm. More sherry. Oh. You know, I haven't added water to this yet when I've been drinking it. 90% through the bottle and I haven't even tried it with some water. Um, I should be better at that. Um, wow. That is... If you're, if you're looking for a, a Laphroaig that is that you can tame down a little bit. 
I think the PX cask is a, is a good candidate because two bits of water in here and it's a very different whiskey. I think it's tamer all around. It got a lot uh, more sherry, a lot more friendly. Still that um, wood spice on the finish. But boy, that uh, that really changed to a, to a very nice, friendly version of Laphroaig. It's not Highland friendly. It's not uh, bourbon friendly, but it's a friendly Laphroaig. Yeah, if you get a chance to, uh, to find a PX cask, I, I think I'd uh, recommend investing in it. It's very nice. Now, as I said, the PX cask, I couldn't find it in any shops. Uh, if you can find it in a duty-free shop, for $80, $90 US, and it's this one liter bottle, go for it, definitely worthwhile. The triple wood is available, can be a little harder to find. I think that um, the prices are all over the place too. I can get it for $53 at the one shop, and the other two places I checked were both $70 and $79. So all over the place. That's that's a crazy radical difference in price. Uh, shop around. If you can get this for fifty or sixty dollars, that's a great buy. I'm a big fan of uh, sherry finish whiskeys. There have only been a couple overall that I haven't been really enjoying. These two are excellent. Uh, if you have favorites that you like, please put those in the comments. Let me know. I'd certainly like to check those out. I'd also like to know in the comments how you're handling things during this, this quarantine, how you're relaxing, um, if you have any funny stories, you know, let's share as a community, let's figure out uh, ways to get through this together. I'm certainly enjoying the fact that I poured too much whiskey today, so I will go back and edit this video, uh, sip on two whiskeys, and um, have fond memories of traveling in airports and shopping in duty-free shops. Cheers. <coughs> Dear Lord. <coughs> Swallow it down, not up. Swallowing up is bad. <laughs> Dear Lord. <coughs> wow. That went up the wrong pipe. <coughs> okay. That wasn't... <coughs> All right, that's not good. Ah. <coughs> Son of a pup. <sighs> okay. Let's try to continue here. <coughs>